How you doing, everybody? I'm your host, Jacques Moliere, and commentating with me is the one, the only, outlaw rock star, sweet Stephen Hensley. And thank you very much for that introduction there, Jacques You're Moliere. Welcome. No problem. We've got a heck of a night for you, a fantastic card. We got a junior heavyweight invitational. It's going to be Kid. It's going to be Crazy Shay. It's going to be Jimmy Dream. It's going to be the return of Diablo Jr. We've got a street fight, Pitbull Bob Brown, Buddy Love, we got a three-way for a future shot, good for one year for the heavyweight title, Bulldozer, Lance Erickson, and Justice. We've got a world tag title match for the vacant NWA Mountain State Wrestling tag titles, Ricky Shane and Billy Lick going up against Bad Karma, an NWA East heavyweight title match. It's going to be Strider going up against... The Vanilla Midget, Scotty Rings. And let's not forget about the big NWA Mount St. Wrestling title match between Johnny Blast and the current champion, Carl. If Johnny Blast loses, he will have to cut his hair. And then, folks, we don't want to forget, in the midst of all of this, the question looming on everyone's mind is tonight, the last night in the career of the maestro of wrestling, Will Matt Connard emerge victorious from that I Quit match, still the TV champion? And will the Stro sell off into the sunset? Or will he pull off an incredible feat and stop death dead in his tracks and defeat the Reaper Matt Connard? Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I want to thank each and every single one of y'all for going on our website and purchasing this pay-per-view only right here at NWA Mount State Wrestling. That's right, NWA Mount State Wrestling, Mountain Jamboree. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mountain Jamboree. Tonight's wrestling action will include Crazy Shay, Diablo Jr., Kid, and Pretty Jimmy in the Junior Heavyweight Number 1 Contender Invitational. You're going to see Pitbull Bob Brown versus Buddy Love in a Street Fights Rules match. Three-way contract on a pole match between Bulldozer, Lance Erickson, and Justice. Strider puts his NWA East heavyweight title on the line against the Iceman, Scotty Reigns. You're also going to see Billy Litt and Ricky Shane taking on Bad Karma for the vacated NWA Mountain State Tag Team titles. Maestro puts his career on the line against the NWA Mountain State Television Champion Matt Connard in a career versus belt match. And our main event tonight, folks, is a belt versus hair match as the NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Champ Carl takes on Johnny Blast. Sit back and enjoy the Jamboree. Go 
this match, referee Patrick Nicholas. Welcome to the wonderful world of pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Outlaw Rockstar, joined by the man's man, Jacques Moliere. And if you're wondering why our bottom ring rope isn't up right now, well, that's pay-per-view for you. I'm wondering right along with you. Nonetheless, we have an exciting opening contest, the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Junior Invitational, the return of Diablo Junior to singles action, starting this one off against Crazy Shay. And every little bit, they're going to be joined by a new competitor in this one. Shea starts things off, sends Diablo off the ropes, attempts a hip toss, Diablo blocks. And now he's sending Shea off the ropes, Shea comes bounding off, Diablo catches him, a hip toss, but he flips on through, lands on his feet, and crazy Shea is fired up for this one. See, that's what I'm talking about, fans. Pay-per-view right here in Summersville, the Youth Community Center, NWA Mount State Wrestling Jamboree. All right, Crazy Shay sending Diablo off the ropes and catches him. Tilt to world, Diablo lands on his feet. And both men staring across the ring at one another. Fantastic opening belt. And I'm excited. Right now, we're going to have a numerous amount of wrestlers coming into this very ring every minute. Like right now in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, who we got here, Jacques? We have, we have coming to this very ring. He is the one, the only, King. All right, kid with a very unorthodox, unique look. So he'll be in good company coming into this one against the masked man and Crazy Shay. Ducks a double team attempt, pushes Diablo, pushes Crazy Shay. And all three men staring at one another. Whoa! And all three men got caught low there. Everyone in the ring down right now. That's got to hurt. That don't tickle right here at NWA Mountain State Wrestling. That's right, Mountain Jamboree, doing it as only we can. And now you see Kid going to work on Crazy Shay, sends him off the ropes, catches him with a big high impact, back elbow, left oh. wrist. The Kid's way. going to send him off the rope, catches him with another vicious back elbow, and another left press, hooks the leg. Crazy Shay in there to break up the pinfall of Tim. The winner of this match will become possibly the new junior heavyweight champion. Oh man, Kid breaks the count and Crazy steals the count. That's right, an incredible opportunity for these men, the NWA Nine, Mount State Wrestling eight, Junior Invitational. Seven, six, A lot on the line. Five, and in the future four, we could see three, one of these men with the two, title. Four. And who's coming out now? While Crazy Shay and Diablo double team, Kid in the corner. Jimmy Dream taking his time, and he hits Crazy Shay from behind with a running double axe handle smash. All right, here we have. Crazy Shay sent to the outside. Jimmy Dream and Kid working as a unit for the moment. Double teaming Diablo Jr. All right, here we have Kid in the middle of the ring right now. Working with, with Jimmy Dream. There we go. Nice double suplex. I guess these guys really want that NWA Mount State Wrestling Junior title shot. Well, of course they want a Junior Heavyweight title shot. That's the next step in their career for Diablo Junior. will be a return to past glory. And maybe he'll shotgun him through the ranks for the other NWA Mount State Wrestling singles titles. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kick by Kid and Jimmy Dream continuing to work over Crazy Shay. Since Crazy Shay off the ropes and a nice spinning hill kick 
Got him square on the tip top of his head. Crazy Shay in a lot of trouble. Get in there to capitalize on the moment. Jimmy Dream provided. A spin kick on the jaw. Jimmy Dream rolls straight over, hooks the leg. Get in there to break up the pinfall attempt though. So much action going on in this one, Jacques Moliere. Yes, yes. I just have to say, absolutely incredible. Here we go. Oh. Off the ropes. Oh, wow. And a double drop kick hits both Kid and Jimmy Dream, but Diablo Jr. lying and blink, flips him with a DDT. Lateral press, this could be it. Two. Oh. Was there a kick out? So close with the two count. I can't believe it. I didn't see the shoulders come up. And Jacques Moliere. How the heck did we end up with Diablo Jr. again? Well, he's back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Diablo Jr., the one and the only. Oh, man. Uh oh, Diablo Jr. Going up top. Getting ready to sell. Good Woo! Lord Almighty, he nailed that one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right here at NWA. Mountain State Wrestling. But look who's standing tall after Diablo Jr.'s maneuver. Crazy Shay, first man up. Now Jimmy Dream, Kid Diablo up oh. on their feet, but look at Shay! Moon sold off the top! -wee. My gosh! We need to see that instant replay. Cucumber and Company will provide that instant replay for us, and they are the best today with any video web promo in the country. Let's get back to this match here. Let's see, all right. Everybody's still standing, but Diablo Jr., I guess Diablo really had a... All right. And you see Crazy Shay there working away over Kid in the corner. The crowd beginning to count, but Shay got caught. He's trapped on that middle rope now. Double knee smash to the back. Let's see, we have two, two referees. Shay in a lot of trouble in the ring. Kid hooks the leg. Almost got a three there. Wow, that was something right there, man. That was too close, too close. All right, kid working away on Crazy Shay in the ring. He's stretching him out right now. And you can hear the screams of pain. Diablo Jr. stuck on the outside. Jimmy Dream, though, sneaks in. No one paying attention. A drop kick pulls kid off the pitfall tip, dives in for a pitfall. It's over. Close. So close, but kid isn't going to let him get it that easy. You pull me off, I'm going to pull you off. All right, look at these guys working together. No! Not a chance. Too much on the line. Smart move by Kid. Almost got it there. Almost got it. Too close. Too close for Comfort Kid. Looks like he's going to teach a little lesson here. Nice kicks to the ribs. Well, Kid may have wanted to teach him a lesson, but Jimmy Dream definitely in the advantageous position right now. Oh, so Catches good. him with a big flying back elbow. Hooks the leg. Referee dives over top. Two count only though for Jimmy Dream. I thought he was done. Diablo Jr. going to work on Jimmy. Sends him into Crazy Shay double team. Fireman's carry position. Somersaults on through. And he's got Diablo Jr. front face lock. He's hooking him up. Could be a suplex time. Gets him up. Puts him across the top rope. Oh, the the ropes. Oh. Drop kick to the top of his head. Poor Diablo Jr. Man, oh man, I tell you here right now, crazy sure is crazy. And Shay goes for the pinfall tip. Welcome back to Mountain State Wrestling, you stinky, disgusting little chupacabra. Here we go, with the pink hair, Diablo is out. No, he kicks out. And the chupacabra kicks out again. That was a close call, too close. You know, in a way, I kind of miss Diablo Jr. Miss dripping on him, that is. Yeah, I missed the man too, Diablo Jr. I don't think you missed him like I missed him. I gotta have somebody to verbally abuse to be a happy man. You see Shay there working away on Dream. Dream catches him with a big time enziguri. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Shay might be out cold too. Once again though, kid in perfect position to break up that pinfall attempt. Otherwise this one may have been over. A front face lock by kid. Gets Dream up, plants him. Oh man. Diablo Jr. on the rope. And Diablo breaks up the pinfall attempt in fine fashion. The Chupacabra on top of his game tonight. Absolutely. 
Ten Diablo minutes has elapsed. Ten minutes remaining. And Diablo Jr. got caught with a battering ram right into the ropes. Jimmy oh, Dream man. off the ropes. Springboard stomp on the back of Diablo. That's turns it. him over. This one's over. And a drop kick to the head by Kid saves Diablo Jr. from a pinfall there. Oh, wow, man. That's that's just awesome, man. With the miss, with the ropes, kick to the gut. Here we go. What's this? A Greco-Roman knuckle lock. But you see Shea, though, with the positioning of his feet, floats on over top. Oh, my Lord. Flipping pile driver. Are you kidding me? See, only right here on pay-per-view will you see Shea. Get in there. Picks him up from a backslide position. Hooks the head. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what to call that. We're going to call that a fantastic maneuver, though, here in this junior invitational Mountain State Wrestling Tournament. I'm going to call Are that beautiful. Absolutely. Big DBT by Diablo Jr. Take it out. Excuse me, fans. I know I called this a tournament. It's an invitational match, but I am so excited right now. And these guys have me looking all over the place. Action has picked up here in Mountain State Wrestling in our opening contest for the pay-per-view as Crazy Shea goes slow on Diablo. All right. Diablo Jr. looks like he's in trouble right now. Oh, Crazy's got him. You want insane action, fans? We got it. Crazy Shay runs into the corner. Big time running body splash. Yes, that was absolutely huge. Shay, he's on the middle ropes. Rolls halfway across the ring. Diving headbutt. Hits him hard, hits him low. Hits him where the sun don't go. Runs over and nails kid. Crazy Shay came to play tonight. Ooh, man, here we go. Crazy. Oh, man, big. Huge into the corner turnbuckle. Dream is just not. Oh, here we go. We'll One more it. time. Get up, go catches him with a DDT. DVT. Nice reverse right there. I thought Dream was done, but crazy just, it was look, too good. Look over there, though. Dream going for the cover. There Diablo it saves it. The two count. Real close. Real close. And you see what's going on here with Diablo and Dream. Dream went in for a pinfall where Diablo saw it, broke it up because he's aware. Ouch. Man, oh man. Fireman's carry into a cutter by Shea on Diablo Jr. And you see Dream though. Dream's going up top too as Shea goes for a moonsault. But misses. Diablo Jr. quickly reverses and moves out of the way. And Diablo has Shea up. Reverse DDT position floats over, falls down with an elbow. Drop kick on Dream, drop kick on Kid. Hooks the leg. Two, three, and Diablo Jr. Diablo Jr. has won the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Junior Invitational. That's what I'm talking about right there. And his glory in the future of this man. And the winner of the match, Diablo. Just a sec, I gotta put on my protective glasses. Ugh. You know, Summersville, West Virginia, pay per view. This was the first step in the return of Diablo Jr. in the division I built the junior heavyweights. And if you like what you see today, the best is yet to come. Once again, the winner of the match, Diablo Jr. Well, Diablo Jr. came here today to make a statement, and he made a statement in fine fashion. He's the man who walked away victorious in the opening contest of the first ever NWA Mountain State Wrestling pay-per-view, and he has won the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Jr. Invitational. But what an effort by the other three competitors. Kid, Jimmy Dream, Crazy Shay, they came to play. And you can bet your bottom dollar, we have not seen the last of these men here in Mountain State Wrestling. How you doing, everybody? I'm your host, 
Jacques Molière. And I'm backstage here with Pitbull Bob Brown. Pitbull, hey, you're going to have a hey, show. Have you gonna... heard? Chad Cross, where are you at? I told everybody, I told you, I told everybody, I even told you that Chad Cross, you ain't got no guts. Pitbull Bob Brown, I'm here. I'm a man. I stand up when I pee. But enough about Chad Cross. I've been training two weeks. I've been hitting the heavy bag. No Chad Cross. Now they want me to fight Buddy Love. If I'd have known that, I'd have hit the heavier bag. <laughs> hoosh, hoosh, hoosh. Buddy Love, did, did anybody tell Buddy Love what he was supposed to be doing tonight? It's a street fight. Did anybody tell Buddy Love what was going to happen? I didn't say nothing. Buddy Love, you better get ready. Because I tell you what, I got my fist taped up. Street fight, you know what that means? That means it's legal for me to ball my fist up and punch you right in the mouth. That means I could take my thumb Stick it in your eye socket and pull out your eyeball. That means it's legal for me to take my boot, my size 13, and stick it way up his hind end. So when you brush your teeth in the morning, I'll be getting a free shoe shine. And that means this is iron, this is steel. If this one don't get you, I'm going to hit you with the chain. Because I can. Hush, 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 hush. Attention, wrestling fans. We are happy to announce the debut of two new official NWA Mountain State t shirts. Get the NWA Mountain State Black Tee with our new logo, or the Diablo Junior Green Tee with the best motto today. 25 bucks a piece, or get them both for $40. Order online at nwamountainstate.com or order by phone at 304-250-0123. Supplies are limited, so order yours today. today. Go! I'm backstage here with Big Buddy Love. I have a question to ask you. Chad Cross was supposed to be here, but uh, you are substituting for him. And you got yourself involved in a street fight with Pitbull Bob Brown. That, that's a fact. Chad Cross could not make it this week. It's unfortunate. He and Bob Brown are going back and forth, back and forth. And I wanted so bad for Chad Cross to get his revenge. You know, Bob Brown's been using that chain, choking him, causing him potential uh, injury. And now here I am. I'm going to step up. I'm going to take over the reins. And I am going to take Bob Brown and beat him like the bad dog he is and send him out to the pound. Because this kind of stuff that he pulls using the chain to choke people, possibly cutting off you know, their larynx and all these other things, that will not stand. I'm here. It's a street fight. Keyword is fight. Tonight, Bob Brown, you'll find out once and for all that love hurts.
number two. Ain't gonna be nothing pretty, ain't gonna be nothing technical about this one. This one is a knockdown, drag out street fight. It's gonna be Buddy Love, subbing for, I don't know where he's at, I don't know what happened. He's scared of pit bull going around Chad Cross, but Buddy Love has found his way into a big time contest, street fight against the pit bull. Yes, this is gonna be a great match, everybody. Buddy Love versus Pitbull Bob Brown in a street fight. You bet you're a rear end that Pitbull Bob Brown is gonna use that chair. And I just don't know, this match is unpredictable. I hope he uses it. Good Lord, he would have lost his mind if he didn't. This match has no rules. It favors a man like the Pitbull. Got Mr. Got Love over there, he's got too many cheeseburgers in his system to really go the distance though. So as soon as he gets wore out, you can bet your bottom dollar. Bob Brown, let me tell you, Bob Brown is going to go right on over top of him and he's going to mercilessly punish him with every single item he can grab a hold of as you see him slingshot Buddy Love's throat across the top rope. Yes, yes, and now Big Buddy Love is down. You don't see that too often, Buddy Love, hitting the center of that mat like that. Pitbull Bob Brown is definitely giving it. Well, it looks like Buddy Love is trying to come back with those punches right to the gut. You see Pitbull though, Pitbull still standing tall, nails him with a knee to the gut. Bob Brown back in control of this one, getting Buddy Love in the center of the ring. Front face lock, he's going for a suplex. And he's trying it? to get Buddy Love up. I don't, I don't think that one's going to happen. I think he can do it. Pitbull can do it. Yes, God Love's can. gotten too many cheeseburgers in his system. That's about a near 400 pounder. Bob Brown might be strong, but suplexing Buddy Love, that's a feat I don't know who's capable of. Kicks out after one, not even a two. So that's gonna a lot of any mortal man to get Buddy Love up and over. Both men out of the ring. Oh man, look at that big punch right to the face. You see, that's legal because this is what a street fight's all about. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it. That's absolutely right. Close fist, doesn't matter. Pulls the hair, doesn't matter. Hits him low, doesn't matter. Well, I can definitely tell you a thing or two about a street fight. You know what I'm saying? Back in Staten Island, New York, you know, I had a couple of over my own street fights, and it ain't pretty. Don't be surprised if you see a little blood in this match. I'm looking forward to it. Heck, I'm counting on it. I'm going to be disappointed if Bob Brown does anything less than next to take Buddy Love's life out here today. And you see Buddy Love stalking behind the Pitbull. Pitbull's got a hold of a chair there, so I don't know what Love's thinking. You see, Pitbull nails him straight in the gut, and that's a heck of a big area on Buddy Love to hit. He's got the steel chair. What's he up to now? What is Pitbull gonna do? He's gonna ram him face first, and I'm gonna love it. Good job, Bob. Well, I don't underestimate Big Buddy Love, and I know Buddy Love's got something up his, something up his sleeves. He don't have any sleeves, but you know, there we go. Pitbull Bob Brown grabbing that chain, just as I predicted. But he's got the steel chair, and he nails Pitbull Bob Brown. Oh no! Come on, ref, take that chair away. That is yeah. right. That is right. That is a fair. Hey, my father always said, "Don't get mad, get him." Close, too close. Too close with Pitbull Bob Brown. Come on, Bob, roll outside, get a breather, buddy. Roll outside, Bob. Yeah. It was almost over for Pitbull Bob Brown after a move like that. Over 400 pounds. That'll crush you flat. S hitting the foot of Buddy Love. You know, Buddy Love might not be the most athletic, he might not be the most technical, but one thing he is definitely, he is big and he is heavy, and he, when he falls on top of you, it's going to hurt, but Bob Brown doing everything he can to get back in this one. Rocks Buddy Love with some stiff shots to the jaw. One more, and he knocks Buddy Love flat. Wow. You know, for a man that claims to be the biggest athlete in the East, she sure did fall hard. The they bigger they are, the harder they fall, Moliere. Wowee. I don't know. It ain't looking good for Buddy Love. It's looking very good for Bob Brown, though. And you can see Bob having words with the ref. Ref knows he can't take that chair. He might want to for Buddy Love's well being. Ten minutes remaining. But Bob Brown able to do whatever he wants. And a stiff shot across the back of Buddy Love. One more for good measure. 
And Bob Brown is having the time of his life. I think he's actually loving this outlaw. Look at look at the face. Look at Buddy Love. He ain't enjoying this one bit, but he ain't quitting. If anybody's got love in this contest right now, it's Bob Brown. He's got love for a no rule situation where he can punish men, and you can see him come off the ropes and right across the back of Buddy Love. And Buddy Love once again clutching his throat. Man. Uh oh. Oh man, right on the throat. Oh man, he's gonna crush that windpipe. Buddy Love is gonna need that windpipe to breathe. Well, Bob Brown doing everything he can to not just hurt, not just punish, not just win, but to outright assault Buddy Love. Evidently, he heard Buddy Love's commentary in place of mine. Biting the skull of Buddy Love, because that's what he is. He's the pit bull, lock jaw, baby. Right on, big Buddy Love. I'd like to remind you once again, biting the skull of Buddy Love, Maybe that's against normal rules. Perfectly legal right now. Absolutely perfectly legal in this one. Right, right. It is a street fight. Anything goes. Buddy Love, though. Slingshot Bob Brown. Bob Brown not paying attention. Buddy Love brings him back in the ring the hard way. And just like that, Pitbull in the center of the ring. Struggling now. And Buddy Love somehow, some way, gains momentum, and he's coming back strong now. Big punch right to the lower back. Pitbull in trouble with the pin count. It's over when he's got his feet on the ropes. That's absolutely right. The foot's on the rope. You see, Bob, there, presence of mind. The bottom rope, it's not there. He knows where the middle rope's at, though. He might be, act like he's creating teeth, but that man is a veteran. He knows where he's at. He knows what to do to get the job done. Yes. Absolutely, the fans are going crazy right here, right now. Fans, and a fan actually giving Bob Brown a chair to send Buddy Love into. I'm loving this one, Jacques. We got fans running out of the way. Thank goodness, nobody got hurt. <laughs> oh, that, that's a familiar moment for you. What is Pitbull quoting? Hacksaw Jim Duggan? That's odd. Oh, man. And Bob Brown sends Buddy Love into that post very hard. Buddy Love's body flying to the floor here. You know, it's not looking good for Buddy Love, but I can see right through the man. I, I can see he's holding something back. He's, he's not using his full potential right now. I think he's saving something for the last minute. I don't know, it could just be me, but Pitbull grabbing that chain, yoking up Big Buddy Love. And once again, he's concentrating on the throat shock, Moliere. He hit it with the ropes, he hit it with the chair, now he's got the chain wrapped around it. Pitbull Bob Brown is using every weapon he can on that throat of Buddy Love. But he's still hanging in there, he's not giving up, he's not quitting. Jacques Moliere, the only reason that man hasn't fallen over right now is because Pitbull Bob Brown was holding him up with a chain. Well, I still see Buddy Love on his feet. He's walking, and it looks like he's trying to recover. He only did it with the support of the ring apron, though. Bob sent him back into the ring, and this one, mark my words, this one is close to over. I think Bob Brown has this one wrapped up. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. He's got something inside of him still. He's holding back. I don't think so. Bob Brown's got him. Big time sleeper hold, and he's got that arm across the throat of Buddy Love. If he inches it towards a choke here, beyond a sleeper hold to an outright choke, it doesn't matter. This is a street fight. It's perfectly legal. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna pass out. He's not gonna be able to survive this match. It's not looking good. He's gonna put him to sleep. Oh, but he catches him, he pushes him back. And Bob Brown just got sandwiched in that corner there. Yes, he's in that corner right now. And oh man, what a big body slash by Big Buddy Love. It's about time. Buddy Love is coming back with a nice clothesline. Down goes Pitbull Bob Brown. This is what I'm talking about, fans. This is what we've been waiting for. The power of Big Buddy Love, the biggest athlete on the East Coast. It's over. One, two. No, no, no. Good job, Bob. Good job. He kicked out. Absolutely so kicked out. He's the Pitbull. He's tenacious. Five minutes remaining. They don't call him 
the pit bull because he's a kitten. After that onslaught, Bob Brown kicks out that bus. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, both men still standing strong. The irresistible force and the immovable object, two big men colliding, two big men still standing tall. It ain't gonna work. You got two big men. Buddy Love, don't turn your back on people Bob Brown. Come on, buddy. And still, Buddy Love made a big mistake there. Still did knock him down, though, after that. Amazingly, still on his feet. Ooh. The only reason he didn't fall down is because he fell into the ropes. Well, I don't know about that. You know, I've seen Buddy Love fall a couple of times, but it's just he had it still in him. There's something inside him. There is nothing inside of him right now, Moliere. There are a few pebbles rattling around upstairs and a few mice on the dilapidated hamster wheel. They're keeping him going right now, but nothing intelligent is happening in Buddy Love's head right now. Pitbull's taking it out of him. It's over. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Ring the bell. The winner of the match, Pitbull. Wrestling fans, we are happy to announce the debut of two new official NWA Mountain State t-shirts. Get the NWA Mountain State black tee with our new logo or the Diablo Junior Green tee with the best motto today. 25 bucks a piece or get them both for $40. Order online at nwamountainstate.com or order by phone at 304-250-0123. Supplies are limited, so order yours today. today. Yeah.